Welcome to Pismo Beach, airing now on Central Coast Now Television. Pismo Beach is one of the best family destinations in the country. And aside from the beautiful scenery, Pismo Beach offers an array of fun activities for the very adventurous to those who just want to relax and unwind. The businesses of Pismo Beach have their own unique stories and have so much to offer. Restaurants, shopping, tasting rooms, nightlife, and everything in between. Welcome to Pismo Beach on Central Coast Now. We are here in beautiful downtown Pismo Beach in front of the Splash Cafe, a world-renowned restaurant that is loved by locals and tourists alike. And I'm here with one of the owners, Ross. So how did this all start? Well, it was about close to 24 years ago. And I knew the people who had a lease on this building. And I also knew the building owner. And they just wanted out. They'd only been here about a year and just wasn't working for them. And Joanne and I came in and it, it just worked out. We were able to lease the building and it, it started from there. And But you know, in, in those first years, it was just a blast. And I think for the next nine years, we had 100% growth every year. That's so wonderful. It's a lot of fun. So this is a place where there's always a line because the tourists come here. Yeah. But locals need to, can come here too. There's oh, like yeah. a secret, right? Well, yeah, you know, I, they think it's busy all the time and that's really not the, the truth. We have a winter season and we have evenings. Right. And, and mornings. Uh, you can still have clam chowder for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. So I would call, that's my secret, <laughs> but then right. I kind of knew people and say, all right, I'm coming for 14 bowls. And it works. If you call ahead, you can come right in, pick up your order, go down on the pier. Right. Sit and watch the ocean. It's really very Or nice the opposite get very cold in the ocean come up here and warm up works both ways it does yeah. all right so i'm going to try some old favorites and some new favorites Great. and joanne's going to show me around your kitchen and try some new stuff so let's go on inside oh, wonderful hi joanne hey, i'm so excited to be here look Excellent. at all this beautiful food just nice. some so this is the the crown glory, right? right? This clam chowder with seafood topping and green onions, and fresh steamed clams with a sun-dried tomato. I and don't think I've tried that. Shallot. I can't wait. Oh, that's really awesome. And these look amazing. Grilled salmon tacos with a uh, avocado cilantro dressing. <laughs> Bacon cheeseburger with curly fries, of course. And do a lot of people order cheeseburgers oh, when they can have clam chowder? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's and double awesome. bacon cheeseburgers. Okay. And the uh, seafood combo with uh, fish and scallops. You know, that was the very first meal I ever had in Pismo. We caught in here late. You were the only restaurant open, and that was the first thing I had, and I still yeah. order and it. the nice big scallops. They are. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the famous salmon tacos? These are salmon tacos. Oh. Fresh grilled salmon, fresh mm. lettuce, tomato, cheese and the avocado cilantro. But it's a lot of salmon. Usually in tacos, they're like little tiny pieces. This is a big yeah, old... No, it's a big piece of salmon. I'm a, actually a big fan of fish tacos. I love fish tacos and I try them wherever I go. And I found the fish tacos at Splash are some of my absolute favorites, especially the salmon ones. Mmm, yummy. All right, so they're steamed clams with yep. a little bit of... It's a dressing that we make. It's very non-traditional, so instead of just the white wine garlic style dressing, it's a, a shallots and garlic, basil and sun-dried tomatoes yeah. and mm. olive oil. And um, it's really, yes, it's a nice combination. And those are the small little neck clams. That's delicious. Thanks. I've never had it with a tomato base on it. I no, like that. I don't that. think anybody makes it that way but us. All right, so I tried some fantastic dishes. Of course, this is my favorite. It always has been my favorite. It is everybody's favorite. You know, I was here this morning, and I was surprised at 9 o'clock in the morning how full it was. And I walked around and asked everybody where they were from and why they were having chowder for breakfast. And there was locals, and there was people from all over. And some of them were saying, well, we've tried to come here before, and we didn't want to wait in line, so we're having chowder for breakfast. Some of them had just come from the ocean, surfers that were warming up. There was all different walks of life, and everybody in here 
you know, there was always at least one chowder at the table and a few were having burritos or breakfast stuff, but this was through and through the why they were here. So thank you for having me. Absolutely, my pleasure. It was wonderful to try all of the new dishes and of course go back to my favorite. Thank you for joining me at Splash Cafe. As you can see, it's noon, the line is starting, but everyone is happy to wait in the line because the food inside is that good. If you're a local, you don't have to wait in line. You can call and they'll have it ready for you when you come. Or if you're a local, do the thing that we all should be doing. Take a walk on our beach, walk down the pier, and come and have a nice dinner at Splash Cafe. Enjoy Pismo Beach. Our next stop is right here in downtown Pismo Beach. And as you can hear, there's always something going on inside Harry's nightclub and beach bar. Harry's has been around forever, and they've got a lot of exciting changes. However, they're preserving the element that has always made Harry's a great place. Here with Mike, new owner of Harry's. If you don't know, now you know. We're taking it to the next level. And at Harry's, you know that's going to include live music. So Harry's is notorious in the five cities for having live bands on every single night. Tell me a little bit about that, Mike. That's right, Tony. We've been able to expand the, the lineup of bands here at Harry's, and uh, we've had some really great uh, bands here lately, uh, including the Dave Miller Band. We've got High Voltage, the awesome uh, ACDC tribute band. And we've got the Stoneflies out of Ventura, who are a uh, ska, reggae, jazz band. You know what? I'm not a real big dancer. You know, not in public, that is. I like to do it in the closet. But there's something about Harry's. Every time I come out to Harry's, because of the vibe, because of the live music and entertainment, I find myself cutting up the rug every single time. And of course, with the new state-of-the-art sound system, that makes your music experience that much better. But that's not the only change that has come to Harry's. We've got, a, we've got a great new wine program here at Harry's. All of our wine is on tap, so it's always fresh. Uh, we're featuring local wines exclusively. We've had great success so far with our first offering, which is uh, from Sexton. And we've got a couple of whites and a couple of reds. It's been very, very well received, and we're looking forward to being able to feature more local wines uh, here in the, in the future. So come on over to Harry's and have a uh, cool, refreshing glass of Sexton wine. Along with the wine, Harry's mixologists can whip you up anything you can possibly imagine. While the history and traditions of Harry's still remain, there is one tradition that is changing. Harry's now accepts credit cards, and that has been a big improvement for, for our business. Most folks don't carry a lot of cash these days, and so Harry's now accepts uh, credit cards, all major credit cards, including Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. So now that they take plastic, there's no excuse for you not to round up a few friends and check them out. We're getting lots and lots of compliments uh, about uh, a new vibe here, about how Harry's is brighter and friendlier, more accessible to more folks, both local and traveling. Of course, they still have a great selection of draft beers, including domestics and locals. And Harry's friendly staff is dedicated to making sure you have a great time. And that is why, for the last 20 years, Harry's has consistently been voted Best South County Bar by the New Times Annual Reader's Poll. If you're just getting off of work, come to Harry's. Come as you are. I guarantee you'll leave different. To keep up with the local bands, entertainment, drink specials, what have you, check out our website and like us on Facebook. If you're in the Five Cities area, it's a no-brainer. Harry's is the spot. Everybody knows about it. Everybody comes through here. Come to Harry's. Make it part of your history. Make it part of your story, because everyone else has a story when they come to Harry's. It's the greatest place in Pismo Beach. It's the one stop that everyone has to make when they're in Pismo Beach. It's absolutely amazing. Harry's, Central Coast. Whether you're hitting the beach, cruising the coast, or just need that morning jump start, go where the locals go, Surfside Donuts. Located in Pismo, just feet from the beach and rooted in local traditions. 
housing over 50 styles of these culinary creations made daily with the finest ingredients on an ever-changing menu. From the traditional D&H maple to the exotic Pismo-inspired fruit and whipped cream clamshells and everything in between. I've never been to a place that has such a variety of unique donuts, but they definitely have that here at Surfside Donuts. For those that need some liquid pick-me-up, Surfside features one of the Pacific Northwest's most famous coffee brands, Stumptown Coffee, featuring cold brew coffee on tap in three popular flavors. For you that are wanting more, Surfside offers adrenaline pumping, delicious espressos, cappuccinos, lattes, and more. I've always been a huge fan of donuts, but I gotta tell you, Surfside, they took it to the next level. So next time you're in the mood for great donuts and coffee, go where the locals go. Surfside Donuts in beautiful Pismo Beach. Looking for something fun to do close to home? Check out Charter On Demand's Central Coast Now channel. Planning a staycation? Watch our shows for some great local excursions. Want to shop locally? Check out our Live, Think, Buy Local shows and support businesses in your community. Ready to taste all the delicious food on the Central Coast? Learn about great neighborhood restaurants on our shows. Planning weekend wine tasting? Join us as we tour local vineyards. Watch Central Coast Now on Charter On Demand. A great way to find fun in your own backyard and support your local businesses. Hey, how you doing? It's Tony and Mo and Oceano at DG Adventures with Dennis, who's going to tell us a little bit about what we're looking at right now. And when I look at it, it looks like something that's straight out of a video game or even out of a dream or a movie. This is a Polaris Slingshot. It's brand new. We just got it. Uh, it's a three-wheel motorcycle. You can drive it on the street and just go anywhere you want to go with it. So this thing's exotic. It, almost, it has to be Italian is what I would say as beautiful as it is because most Good looking cars are. But it, a motorcycle, a vehicle, what is it exactly? What are we looking at? Well, it's classified as a three wheel motorcycle. Um, but this particular vehicle, since you sit side by side, is more like a car. It has a Chevy four cylinder engine in it, builds 175 horsepower, and um, only weighs 1,650 pounds. And the minute that I saw it, it was, I, you know, it was just an idea. It was just, we live on the Central Coast. We have the best roads in the world right here. This thing fits the bill. Everybody's going to want to drive it. And I did everything I could to get my hands on one. And, uh, and here it is. We, we got one of the very first. All right, Dennis, tell me what it takes to rent one of these bad boys. All you need is a valid driver's license and be 21 years old. All right, now here's the deal. I don't have a motorcycle license. Is that going to be a problem? Not at all. This is a three-wheel motorcycle, and in California, you don't have to have a motorcycle license. So, so on the Central Coast right now, or even Cali, how many are actually out there available as far as rentals? Um, rentals, um, very, very few. Um, right now, last I checked, there was about 20 units total in California, and most of those units are demo units. So basically, if you want to rent one of these on the Central Coast, you can only get one at DG Adventures. And this is a uh, manual or is it automatic? This one is a five-speed manual transmission. So yeah, you do have to know how to drive a manual trans. All right, Dennis, we're in a little dilemma here. I see this. Mo, she can't drive a stick. Do you got another model? I think we got her covered. Do we? Yes, we do. We got two Can-Am Spiders here that are uh, just pretty awesome and they're automatic transmissions. So anybody can drive All right. those. Yeah. All right, so we got the beautiful slingshot and now we're aware of the Spider. Now, if uh, Mo and I want to bring a couple of friends, maybe four, can you accommodate us? Absolutely. Awesome. You hear that? <laughs> All right, so I am so excited. I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of one of these bad boys. But where is it that I can take this? You can take this thing anywhere that's paved. As long as you keep it on the road, we're good. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> 
But before we can go, there's a little bit of training that Dennis has to go over with us. To rent a spider, they require that you watch a short instructional video which is located on the web. Once you arrive at DG Adventures, they go over the fundamentals of the bike with you and answer any questions that you might have. And they provide basic insurance as required by law and you do not need a motorcycle license. But you are required to wear safety gear. But check this out, they provide a variety of cool helmets, jackets and gloves. So if you want to rent one of these toys, make a reservation online or come visit us in Oceano at DG Adventures. Let's go turn some heads, Mo. from Kay's Country Kitchen and I want to talk to you about being on Central Coast now. I've been on Central Coast now uh, with Noble Productions for a, almost a year and it was my first real commercial, TV commercial and I was so um, impressed at the feedback I've had from this commercial. People from all over my area, tourists from Paso Robles, uh, Cambria, stopping through, have watched this this uh, show for information on what to do and what to see in the area. And I've had so many new faces come in and tell me the reason they came in was because they saw this on Central Coast now. And as you can hear, I have plenty of customers here and it's almost closing time. And, and honestly, I have to say, ever since I started, they've started running the Central Coast now, this has been the best year ever. Lots of people right up to the end. Thank you very much. At Central Coast Now, your local community channel continues its journey to support local businesses and communities. We would love to hear from you. Yeah, you, sitting right there. When we say this is your local community channel, we mean it. So be sure to tell us what you would like us to showcase, whether it's a business or an event or something unique and different. Feel free to visit us online at centralcoastnow.tv or like us on Facebook. So don't forget to tune in to support your local businesses. Our next stop here in Pismo is Hot Shots. And from the outside, you have no idea what you're about to walk into. This place will totally wow you. I'm here with Danielle at Hot Shots in Pismo Beach, just blocks away from the ocean. Uh, tell me about everything that goes on. This place looks like an awful lot of fun. So I don't know if you know this, but we have had a lot of recent upgrades to the building. We have new carpet, a new bar with bottle caps encased in it. Uh, we also have uh, two new air hockey tables, which get used a lot. They're very popular, uh, as well as uh, 14 pool tables, video games, jukebox party in here. Now a lot of the times people think pool hall and think, oh I'm going to go to a dark bar, but this is the polar opposite of that actually. This is a place where you can come for the entire family, ideal for all ages actually. You have a lot happening besides just the pool tables here. Yes, we do try to make everyone feel welcome and we want people to bring their kids in. A lot of people come in and say, are my kids allowed in here? And we're like, yes, bring them in. It's a family entertainment center. We really do want everyone to be welcome and there is something in here for everyone to do. Well, I'm really excited and looking forward to playing some pool right now, but before I get started, a little hungry and a little thirsty, what can you do? Well, I think we need to go speak to my husband and he'll get us the rundown on our huge selection of beer and our food. Awesome.
So Phil, hanging out here with you, Danielle already told me you're the guy to talk to about the extensive beers that you have over here. Definitely. And I was told I could only get one, so I went big. Yes, go big or go home, right? <laughs> I have to absolutely agree with that. Yeah. Now, how many beers is it that you actually have on draft here? So on draft we have 30. Uh, 20 of them are rot rotating handles, so uh, we switch them up quite a bit uh, with local breweries, West Coast uh, style uh, beers, and then all over the nation and worldwide. How many would you say that you actually have in bottle? And right now about 111, I believe. A lot of beer. Yeah. Um, everything from uh, barrel-aged beers, uh, some Belgium sour beers, and uh, rare beers you don't find in the store. Now, I also hear that besides the beer that you have, that you have amazing food here. We do. Uh, we're known for our fish and chips and burgers. We also have excellent pizza and calamari. Well, now that I have my beer to enjoy, I'm getting ready to go get my butt kicked because I'm not good at playing pool, but I'm going to learn how hanging out here, and then I'm going to give those fish and chips a shot. <laughs> awesome. This looks incredible. Since they are known for their fish and chips, I'm definitely gonna dive in. And it's even better with a beer. A big beer. All right, Ryan, you're gonna have to help me out here. Okay. <laughs> You've got this. Okay. Ooh. Mmm, hyping a lot. Good, very good. For a place to bring the entire family, head on over to Hot Shots in the middle of all the action in downtown Pismo Beach. Hi, welcome to Seashot Gallery. I'm Tom Berger. Hi, Tom. I'm Mo. Yeah, what do you think? Absolutely beautiful art. I can't wait to have a look around. Well, let's just take a look around the gallery and see what interests you. Fantastic. Wow, Tom, I absolutely love this piece right here. The colors are absolutely electric. I can envision this in, say, a pediatrics office or in a veterinary clinic. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Yeah, this is a great piece. It's done by an artist named Tamadro. Uh, he actually happens to own a white tiger, so this subject matter comes from him. But as you look at it close up, it's an abstract, and as you pull away from it, you, you see the tiger cubs. So, yeah, this is a, a really great piece of original art. I want one. Now, Tom, I'm drawn to this. I really like this particular piece. It has a lot of texture and color to it, and I can envision this hanging up in my bedroom above my bed. Can you tell me a little more about this art? That would be a great place for it. This, this piece of art is done by a Nigerian artist named Anyeka Ibe. Uh, backstory on him was he was sort of discovered by the American ambassador to Nigeria at the time, uh, just when the editors of Ebony magazine were visiting, who invited Anyeka to come to the United States, which he did. He now lives and paints in Atlanta, Georgia, and he, he paints many of his paintings in this expressionistic style. I like that, expressionistic style. I'm learning a lot of new art lingo today. Well, Tom, I love this piece. And now I notice this piece here by the same artist, and this could easily be in one of my favorite Italian restaurants. Can you tell me a little bit more about this piece in particular? Again, this one's by Anyaka Ebay. This is called Morning Light and Blue, and it's actually an a expressionistic piece of a village along the northern coast of Africa. But it looks very much like the villages along the Mediterranean or the villages right here in Pismo Beach. It looks to me like the houses going up the hill here. So yeah, this is a, a great piece of art. It's one of my favorite in the gallery. Mine too. All right, Tom, I'm looking at 
these very interesting pieces of art right here. Looks like really good conversation pieces for something while you're sitting around in a winery drinking some wine or in an office space or someone who is an art collector. What is unique about these pieces in particular? Well, you're right to notice that these are very, very interesting. These are done by an artist named Leon Oakes. He is an American artist born in Russia. He painted in Russia until he was in his 40s, and the Russians, the Soviet Union, considered him to be too free in his thinking and would not let him display this art. So he left the country and came to America. And this one's called Touch. Uh, it reminds a lot of people a little bit of Picasso, a little bit of Chagall. But if you look at here in this, everybody is touching everybody in some way. They're talking to them, they're touching them with their fingers, and, and this is the community of humanity. And again, if you look at Leon's colors, uh, there's no solid colors here. These are all very complex colors, but they're all upbeat and happy colors. So Leon is really an artist of hope. I love that. And this too. This is another one by the same artist here. A lot of colors, a lot of interesting textures. Yeah, and who knows what goes through an, an artist's mind. This was painted during uh, the 2008 election. Not, not that Leon was following politics all that quickly, but he named this one Anticipation because nobody knew what was going to happen. If you look at the faces here, you know, they, they all look like, you know, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? But the same bright colors, the same complex colors, the same mingling of humanity throughout his painting. Yeah, these are definitely collector item paintings. These are so unique. I can't take my eyes off of these. That's what makes them interesting. Thank you, Tom, for having me here at Seaside Gallery today. It's definitely been informative. I've learned a lot about art, and I hope that the viewers at home have as well, too, and take the opportunity to come on in here and get educated on art and see all the different varieties that you have to offer. So, Mo, it's been a real pleasure showing you around the gallery. We hope to see you again, and maybe next time we'll show you some of the sculpture that we have. I would love that, absolutely. So come on down to Seaside Gallery. Where you'll find fine art in the heart of Pismo Beach. me and my special guest on Central Coast Now. We'll be going on a culinary tour of food, wines, and fun. Taste Buds will feature my dining treasures and special finds as food and wine experts test my palate. If you'd like your restaurant to be considered, please give us a call at 904-6904 or message Taste Buds on Facebook. Warning, do not watch Taste Buds while hungry. Whether you're hitting the beach, cruising the coast, or just need that morning jump start, go where the locals go, Surfside Donuts. Located in Pismo, just feet from the beach and rooted in local traditions. Housing over 50 styles of these culinary creations made daily with the finest ingredients on an ever-changing menu. From the traditional D&H maple to the exotic Pismo-inspired fruit and whipped cream clamshells and everything in between. I've never been to a place that has such a variety of unique donuts, but they definitely have that here at Surfside Donuts. For those that need some liquid pick-me-up, Surfside features one of the Pacific Northwest's most famous coffee brands, Stumptown Coffee, featuring cold brew coffee on tap in three popular flavors. For you that are wanting more, Surfside offers adrenaline pumping, delicious espressos, cappuccinos, lattes and more. I've always been a huge fan of donuts, but I gotta tell you, Surfside, they took it to the next level. So next time you're in the mood for great donuts and coffee, go where the locals go. Surfside Donuts in beautiful Pismo Beach.
A friend's famous family deli shop in Oceano is known for the most authentic Mexican food around. Everything is made fresh and is absolutely delicious. From mama salsa to tacos, carnitas, shrimp cocktails, enchiladas, burritos, and more. Come out and enjoy their mouth-watering Mexican food and wash it all down with their tasty micheladas. You will not be disappointed. A friend's famous family deli shop and now also in Santa Maria on Blosser next to AMPM.